What's up y'all? So today we're going to be installing a dual Z access kit for my Ender 3 Max. And this will help improve our print quality as well as support our gantry a little bit better on this side. Because as you can see, you do get some shifting as this thing is printing and it has ruined a few of my prints. So let's go ahead and get into it. First thing we're going to do is remove this power supply by just removing these two bolts. Next, we'll go ahead and disconnect the power supply. Next, we're going to remove and reuse these wheels on our new mount. Now, when removing this wheel, you do want to keep the orientation correct. You got your wheel, and then your concentric nut, and you got the tall side facing away from you. Next, we're going to remove these two bolts so we can replace this longer bolt with one that's in the kit. Uh, next, we'll take the longer bolt that comes with the kit and put the washer on it. I'm going to slide this back into position. Then we'll use the screws that we took out earlier and put them back in. Next, we'll take our concentric nut, our wheel, and our spacer that also comes with the kit. Then we're going to take the new mounting plate that came with the kit as well as the spacers. So then go spacer, wheel, spacer, and we'll get these installed. Now we'll take our three lock nuts and put them on. Next, we're going to adjust our concentric nut so our wheel won't move freely. And you want to make sure this is just snug enough to keep it from moving, but not too tight where it's going to actually cause damage to the wheel on the rail. Next, we're going to take our mounting bracket and install it onto our stepper motor. Now we're going to take our stepper motor assembly and slot it into our T-slot. Next, we'll grab our collet and we'll slide the small hole onto our spindle here. Don't want this all the way down. You can actually look through the slot right here and you can see the top of the spindle. I've actually decided to go with the anti-backlash nut up here on our top mount. So let's go ahead and get that swapped out as well. Now we'll take the top half of the anti-backlash nut and we'll take these prongs and put them into the slots with our spring with it fully compressed and then now we'll go ahead and get our rod put in and now that we have the rod in a good way it will hold its position and we'll just thread it the rest of the way down now we'll go ahead and install the rod into our collet next we'll install the rod support next we'll add some super lube to the threads next we want to make sure our 3d printer is perfectly level and then we want to level our gantry up here and to be even more accurate, you can use a pair of calipers like I did. Next, we'll plug in our stepper motor cable. One goes here, jumps over to here, and then plugs into the main board. And I'll show you where we plug that in at. So we can go ahead and install our new stepper motor cable. We're going to remove these three screws and take off this case. You'll have a yellow tag that indicates the Z cable. We're going to go ahead and unplug that. Now we'll plug our new stepper motor plug in. All right, let's get all this back together and uh, test it out. Well, that's it for the dual Z access kit. Let's go ahead and test it out. <laughs> 